I always get the same thing. Yeah. What is that, a chicken Benedict? No, I, it, it, it always looks great on the menu, but I always get the meatloaf. So I'm gonna stick to tradition and get the meatloaf. And they were nice enough with my big long legs to give me an entire corner booth to myself. Look at all this craziness. We've got uh, tomatoes, mashed potatoes, the griddled meatloaf, scrambled eggs with cheese added in, giant biscuit with uh, house-made jelly. So yeah, griddled meatloaf. How's about that? The server asked if I wanted to add cheese to the scrambled eggs, and I said, uh, uh, yes, of course. And that was an excellent choice. Mm. Salty and cheesy. And yummy, and uh, you know, eggy too. It's a uh, 3:15 in the afternoon on Saturday, so kind of right in the bridge between brunch and dinner. So I thought, you know, meatloaf and eggs. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. Peppery. It's got a sweet glaze to it, and very, very juicy inside. Well, we got some of the potatoes underneath there. Oh, we also have this uh, kind of an edible garnish. It's a fried pasta. Am I supposed to eat this? Well, yes, you can. It tastes like chips, doesn't it? It does. What is it? It's spaghetti, fried spaghetti. Fried spaghetti. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Oh, well, good. I should have asked you before I ate it, but so still. You enjoy this. All right. Thank you. Fried spaghetti. Now we know. And there's the potatoes that they singe on the grill a little bit. Here's the bite of your dreams, the meatloaf, the cheesy eggs, and the potatoes on the right. Best of all possible worlds, as uh, Candide said. Mm. And now, to the biscuit. Look at this deliciousness. This dough bomb of a biscuit with homemade blueberry compote on top. Mm. I bet they use that in their blueberry flapjacks. Mm. Well, I made a valiant attempt to clean my plate. I left behind the uh, fruit garnish, the tomatoes, a little bit of the potatoes, the fried spaghetti, and the rosemary. Maybe I could use that as floss. Mm.